Hey, what's up guys? My name is Number One Pred, and today what we're bringing you guys is a crazy, crazy life story for today's video, as promised from yesterday. And as you guys can tell already, it is about when I caught two people having sex in an office. Now, that is pretty crazy. But before I jump into anything towards the commentary, I'm just going to tell you guys what the gameplay is about, as you guys are probably wondering what it is. The gameplay you guys are watching is something to do with, um, obviously, a Call of Duty Ghost gameplay. I think it's like a double chem strike or something. The gameplay is obviously in insignificant to the video anyways, as it is commentary related. So, uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. So, starting off, before I get into anything else, this event happened about just over a week ago, actually. So, it was really, really recent, which is why, obviously, I'm going to go over it now before I forget about most of the details. Um, but I was kind of in, in debate with myself of whether I should actually upload this or not um, because I don't know it's it's a bit personal it not really personal but it's just a bit weird um, I'll get into it in a bit but um, the reason why I have decided to actually upload it is because one of my friends actually had a similar story in terms of the concept of it and uh, obviously he you know made a video on it I just figured why not? I might as well do it myself, and um, I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy it anyway, so it'd be, you know, an entertaining video to make, and hopefully it's an entertaining video for you guys to listen to. So, uh, yeah, let's go straight into it. So, basically what happened is, obviously, as it was just over a week ago, I was just about to start school uh, in sick form, which is what I'm in now, obviously, and I need to go downtown to get a few things for school, such as, like, books, pens, pencils, just, to, you know, the general equipment that you do need every day for school otherwise I would probably get in trouble and um, I needed my uncle to go down to uh, downtown with me just to go and get them because um, I didn't have any money left on me because I spent it all on like, headsets and stuff like that for my um, PS4 which actually didn't even work out so I kind of need to take that back but uh, besides the point I needed him to come down to you know just buy me a few things like obviously the books and that the book was the most important part so he agreed to come down town with me and get those for me and um, he needed to actually pop into his work um, really quickly um, that's pretty much one of the reasons why he did agree to go down there with me so I was like oh yeah let's go and um, so we went down I brought, I got my things, got my books and everything luckily there was like one book left and there was like homework uh, due the next day that was actually related to that textbook so I really really needed to buy that so I was kind of in luck there but as you guys can tell I probably you could either take this either way. I was either in luck or in bad luck later on um, in this in this you know situation here. So I got all that stuff, and he, as as I said earlier, he needed to pop into work at something at some point. And um, I was he brought me lunch. Um, I needed to go see my mum later on that day as well. So I just thought you know you know while I'm down here because my mum works downtown in the same place as well, not the same place as the office kind of area, but um, a different place in town basically she works in the town is you know the message I'm trying to get across here as you guys can tell I'm not a commentator so my message isn't as clear as you know a commentator would put it so I do apologize about that but um, I brought my lunch uh, he got my lunch so I just decided well as I'm down here I'm gonna see my mum later on so I might as well just stay down here for the duration which wasn't actually too long and uh, I just went into work with him and uh, basically he just needs to sort a few papers out, it wasn't going to be long so I was eating my lunch, um, I wasn't. I didn't go in the office with him um, with, uh, his office should I say, with him I was just hanging around the corridors and uh, this is where all the weird stuff happens so I was just going, you know, being nosy, that's the kind of person I am I'll look in like rooms I'm not supposed to and um, there was like a room that had its lights on and it was it seemed empty basically I just went in there because obviously as I said I just I was just walking around eating my eating my lunch and I just popped in there and it was the lost property place so basically that you know the business had a lost property office stroke room so it was sort of an office but it wasn't so I walked in there and uh, basically that was parallel to that room was like a, another room that had like a it was like a I don't know how to say it, it's, it's, you know when you have like those glass offices, like the cubicles, um, there was one of them, but it wasn't glass, it was like 
like a wall and it had like another door so it was like a cubicle and I heard like a bang from the other side of the door so I was like oh crap there's someone in here so I better not interfere and walk any further so I was going to go back because obviously that startled me a little bit I didn't want to get in trouble for just you know walking around randomly I could just walk myself into trouble so um, I just was about to turn around and then I hear this this disturbing low moan of <coughs> basically like a like a, you know when you I don't know, when you get pissed off at something, you're like, Urgh! it is it was like a low tone of that, and I was just like, what the hell? So, obviously that knock had something to do with what they were doing, which is something that I didn't know about at that time, obviously. So, you know, I walked close to, obviously I'm a curious kind of person, I will not just, you know, hear something and just ignore it, that's the type of person I am, and, um, I, d I didn't know what was going on obviously, I just thought he'd drop something, got pissed off about it and um, I got close to the door, it was actually on if you're going to have sex in the office you wouldn't leave the door too and this is the thing that, that confused me the most and the door was left half, not, there was like a little crack in the door so obviously I was walking close to the door, bear in mind you know the, the room I'm, cu I'm currently in at this time is the lost property room um, and there was literally nothing lost. It was there was like a couple of like clothes and like jumpers and that on the floor in like a pile. So there wasn't really much lost. And uh, I was walking close to that door. And as I was like close, getting closer and closer, I could just hear these grunts of ah, 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 like the like a woman, you know, groans as well. So I was like, okay, what's going on here? And you know, I'm obviously at the age where I know, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on. And um, I walk close to it and I'm starting to get more cautious just in case I get caught and fed up floorboards and stuff like that because you know the floors in the building are kind of like creaky so I don't want to step on anything that makes like that <coughs> noise and um, so I was lucky that I didn't I got close to the crack and eventually after like a couple of seconds I got close close enough to the door so I can see through the little little opening in the door in the door and um, I peeked my you know one of my eyes through it and um, I couldn't really see much because um, there was just literally a pile of papers and on the floor there was actually a stack of like papers on the floor and I'm assuming that was what that you know the guy or whoever was in there uh, knocked off when they went err I'd probably I'm assuming he was frying the woman on the table just to smash her down and knock you know stuff out of the way um, in the process of that so I'm assuming that happened so I couldn't see much other than that so you know I pushed the door really 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 slowly so it didn't make a noise and it, it didn't make a noise at all I mean you know when you have those doors that you know all too close but like if you slam it if it gets close to shutting it will make that it's got like a little hanger thing above it that slows it down so it doesn't slam it was like one of those doors so it wouldn't make like a cracky sound um, creaky sound sorry and um, I, I poked my head in literally and that was a risky move because they could person if they were facing a different direction I would have been seen but um, it was like a side on view and I poked my head in oh my god I actually I cannot imagine what I saw so basically it was like a side on view but it was like a side on diagonal view and in my favour of not being I mean I was in luck that uh, the guy was facing backwards to me although I saw it side on it was like a diagonal side on and I was lucky that the woman didn't see me because this guy okay the guy and this is what I, I asked myself numerous times after this happened. This guy was, he was, he was a big chunk of jumbo. Literally, he was a fat ass. I'm not even, I mean, not, not being offensive to people who are like fat, but I don't think you can get uh, nearly as fat as him. He was like just a typical, you know, he's, he's like the guy who you'd imagine to like, you know, go out for his beers. He's got a beer belly and um, he, ju he just eats. He won't stop eating and... He has a he had a ball patch on his head. He wore glasses from what I saw, like I saw from the side. He had like the little the holders. I don't know what they are. The little sticks that you know rest on your ears. Um, he had them on, and um, he he wasn't wearing anything. His top was off. Um, his trousers were down. They weren't off, but they were down, like as if you were going you know going to a toilet uh, for a male anyway. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this would be a male anyways. But um, yeah, so he was he was like that, and the woman. She was actually pretty fit. I'm not even going to deny, she, deny she, she looked... She was probably about 40. Uh, the guy was probably about 45, 50, something like that. I don't know. And uh, she 
she looked like a MILF. She was probably like 40, but she looked like 30-something. And, I mean, if I had the chance, I'm not going to deny, I probably would have a go on her. I mean, if I was on another day and didn't see, like, a fat ass smashing her, I'd probably be like, yeah, can I join in, please? Uh, I mean, I was only joking about that, but, <laughs> I mean, it, w it would have been quite tempting because she was actually fit. And she wasn't wearing anything. She had no... She was naked completely. Um... So I was in luck there, I saw a bit of tits, and uh, not too much because I didn't poke my head in for that long, as you guys probably understand. I mean, I didn't want to get caught, and uh, I don't know how, uh, they're probably at the start of it because I didn't see anyone jizzing over e each other at that point. I mean, I really, really wouldn't have wanted to. It was literally like watching porn, but virtual porn, and I was just like, oh, it was so cringy. It was so, so cringy, and um, it... it I can cut. I came out of this basically this um, you know event or you know what, situation um, between those two thinking how did he get off with her? And the second thing is why would they be doing it in an office? I mean it was sort of an office. It was like it was. Sort of, I would say it's an office because it was like a little room with like a desk and that um, next to the lost property. She might have been lost property manager or whatever. What I don't know who did what. But why would you do it in a public area? Anywhere, if it's in like the toilets, if it's in school, if it's just, you know, anywhere. Why would you do it in public? You have plenty of places like luxury at home. Why would you do it there? They must have been in some weird ass mood to be doing that. I mean, God knows what relationship status they were in, whether they were both single, whether they were both together or what, I don't know. It was it's beyond me. It's really, really beyond me. And I was just I just I was just dumbfounded. So uh yeah, what I got out of it was well, for starters, I'm not going in that room again. I'm never going into lost property rooms ever again. That's probably given me a phobia of lost property rooms. And it is actually, it disgusted me, the image I saw, for about 10 seconds. I mean, I couldn't stop watching for the duration, but it was watch, I was watching in, like, cringeness, if that's even a word. But I, I almost threw up, and I said absolutely nothing to anybody. Um, I told like a couple of friends, but I was really, really reluctant to, as I said earlier, I was reluctant to tell this story, because it was it's really awkward for me to tell, but um, it's probably really enjoyable, my friend, like, he went, my friends, they just went, they were laughing when I told them and stuff like that, I didn't tell my uncle on the way out, if you guys are wondering, um, I, I pretty much didn't even speak to him at all on the way out, I just thanked him and just went my own way, God knows what happened to Beauty and the Beast, so um, yeah, Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, I mean, this was actually a, it's a pretty crazy story, I mean, it's kind of funny if you were to look at it from a different point of view other than me, but, um, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did, can we shoot for 75 likes, that would be absolutely crazy if you could, so if you haven't already, please drop a like, um, if you do, that's absolutely crazy, if not, that's completely fine, but anyways, hopefully you guys have an awesome day, and, uh, yeah, peace.